online student registration is a new endeavor that we have for this year. It's going to allow our parents to um, register their children through our online portal called Active Parent. We are very excited about this. This is a new endeavor for our school district, but we sure hope that it makes life a lot easier for our parents. All they have to do is go to our website and click on Active Parent under the Student and Parent Portal and they can just get started in our registration process. parents may have had an active parent account but they will need to create a new one. We have uh, flushed our system of all the old accounts so they will go to active parent, um, create an account and request their student and then it may take a day or so for our data processors and office personnel to attach those students for registration then the parent will go back to the active parent portal to complete the registration process. Make sure that when you are collecting your data or your documents to get ready to upload to our registration system that you, if you're a brand new student, you're going to have to have. If you're a former student, of course, we already have those documents in our system. Also, if you're an incoming seventh grader, we need to make sure that you've had the Tdap vaccination prior to enrolling, so make sure that we have a compliance sheet indicating that you have had that vaccination. And also, you're going to have to have two proofs of residency, and we'll have these um, informational sheets on our website that it tells you exactly what residency documentation that we'll accept. Registration dates are from July 15th to July 29th. Uh, we are cutting it off July 29th. Any student that's not registered on July 29th will not be able to register until August the 7th. Uh, we do understand that there will be some people that do not have the internet access to complete this online or they have trouble uploading their documents. So we will have three face-to-face -face opportunities for parents to bring documentation to the school. We do ask that parents that do come to the schools that only one parent per child attend and uh, we will require social distancing and masks to be worn to uh, protect our uh, faculty staff.